I'm from Canada and this afternoon we're going to look at some uh, tongue twisters. Okay, so we're just waiting for people to join the class. Um, tongue twisters are just nonsensical um, rhymes or um, sayings or phrases that uh, they have many similar sounding words so they're difficult to hear. Hi. Hi Paula. Hi. Hello. Welcome to the Hello. class. Thank you. Where are you from Paula? I'm from Brazil. Brazil, okay. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, thank you for joining. Aurelian? Aurelian, is that how you pronounce your name? Aurelian, are you there? I can't hear you. I can't see anybody on the screen. Hello? So Paula, are you a premium member or did you get a uh, reservation? Yeah, I got a reservation. Oh, very good. Very nice. We're just waiting for other people to join the class. We have Aurelian here. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, am I pronouncing your name correctly, Aurelian? Yes, it is. <laughs> May I hear you say it? <laughs> Can you say your name for me, please? Aurélien. Aurélien. Okay, great. Where are you from, Aurélien? I, I come from France. From France. Okay, very nice. Oh. Hello. We have Mariana. Mariana, are you there? Hello? Hello. 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 There she is. Hello, welcome to class. Where are you from, Mary Mariana? Um, I'm Mariana, I come from uh, Milan, Italy. Me Milan, okay, very nice. <laughs> well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Selma, hello. Are you there, Selma? Uh, I'm hearing from you, Selma. Sorry. Yes, there she is. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> Selma. Where are you from? Thank you. I'm from Algeria. I'm sorry, from? Algeria. Can you write it for me, please? Okay, I will. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And this is Juan. Me? Yes. Oh, and Algeria. Oh, Algeria. Thank you. That was Selma, Algeria. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. And Juan, um, is um, Juan your first name? Yeah, it's me. It's with me. You're talking to me. Um, y yes, Juan. The, you have a picture uh, on a drawing. Ah, yes, yes. yes okay. My, name is, my first name is Juan. I'm from it's Juan. Ecuador. Ecuador. Yeah. Okay, very nice. You're the first one I've seen from Ecuador. Welcome. <laughs> okay, Ayat. Uh, hello, teacher. Is Ayat your first name or Aya? Ayat. Ayat. Okay, welcome, Ayat. And where are you from? I'm from Algeria, too. Algeria as well. Okay, thank you. Beautiful, welcome. Antonio. Nice. Hello, Oops. hello, Antonio. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. 
No? Yes, now. Ah, there, that's better. Okay, Antonio, Spain. that's better. Yes. From Spain? Yes. Okay, excellent. Very nice. Thank you for joining us. Thank Adrian. Hello. Hi. Hi, my name is Adrian. What is a nickname? Uh, my name, my real name is Álvaro. I'm from Spain. Okay. And I live in Madrid. And you're in Madrid. Okay, very nice. Yes. And I think nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Okay, so um, this class is going to be mostly speaking. Uh, I'm going to show you some uh, tongue twisters. Does everybody know what tongue twisters are? Have you ever tried them? Anyone? Yes, like a uh, pretty butter. Okay, good. Do you have tongue twisters in your own language? Yes. 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 Okay. So we're going to yes. try some English ones. We're going to start out really slow. We'll go one word at a time. We'll get the pronunciation right for the words, and then we'll try to say it fast. Okay? So here we okay. go. I've got a slideshow for you here. Uh, tongue twisters. So tongue twister, a phrase, sentence, or rhyme that is difficult to say because it contains similar sounds. So that's our definition. And our first one, we'll start with a one word, or two words here. Um, let's see. Uh, Adrienne, can you say what is on the screen? Can you see it? Yes. Noisy. Yes, a noisy. A noisy. So noisy is an adjective. And yes. we're going to put up the next word. It'll make more sense. Uh, oh, okay. Antonio, what's a noise? <laughs> a noise. A noise is a noun. <laughs> okay. No? And and but what is it? How noise. do you define noise? Noise is is a sound, no? Okay. Yes. Yes, it's a sound. Good. Okay. And the next word. Does everybody say noise? Everybody can say it. Say noise. 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 Yes. Okay. A noise. 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 All right. And what is annoying? What does that mean to uh, to annoy to something? Get bored. Okay. I'm sorry. What did you say? To get bored. Bored. Boring. Mm. Write the word. Yeah, uh, irritated. That's a good word. It's irritating, it's annoying. Irritating is a very similar word. And then the last word is, well, two words, an oyster. An oyster. So everybody say an oyster. An oyster. An oyster. An oyster. Okay. So. An oyster. A noisy? Say it. A noise. A noise. A noise. A noise. 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 A noise. A noise. A noise. An oyster. An oyster. Okay, so we're going to do this individually now. Selma, can you read the whole thing? Okay. A noisy noise, a noise, an oyster. Okay, very good. <laughs> Paula. A noise, noise, a noise, a moisture. Okay, good. And Mariana? Mariana? Um, say it? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a noise, a noise, a noise, an oyster. Right, good. <laughs> oh, Hazel, hello. Hello. A noisy noise, a noise, an oyster. Good. Well done. Where are you from, Hazel? From Romania. From Romania. Welcome to class. Thanks for joining Thank us. You. Thank you. <laughs> Juan, say it. A noisy noise, a noise, an oyster. Beautiful. Well done. Uh, Ayat? A noisy noise, a noise, a noise, an oyster. <laughs> okay. Good job. And uh, Aurelian? A noisy noise, a noise, an oyster. Can you say it one more time for me, please? A noisy noise, a noise, an oyster. Beautiful. Okay. And then we have um, Antonio. 
Okay, good. So it's just nonsense. It doesn't really mean anything. But as you can see, how um, if you say that to someone, they won't even really know what you're saying because all of the sounds sound the same. Uh, noisy noise and noise. That sounds almost the same. So we'll try another one. We'll do it one word at a time. Everybody just say the word as it comes up. And if you don't know what the word means, ask me. R. 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 Our. Ours. What's the meaning of Okay. Oak. Oak. Okay. Oh. So our, 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 oars, 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 oak. So oh. oars. People want to know what oars mean. Does anybody know what is an oar? No. Yeah, you use it from boat. You use it. Yeah, from a boat. You use it on a boat to push the boat along. Those are mm. oars. On a in a canoe, we call it a paddle. But in a rowboat, we call them oars. They fit onto the side of the boat, and you use them to move the boat. So you can see these words here, are and our, are so close. But you get the U in the hour. So are, our. So everybody try those two words, are, our. Our, 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 okay. Our, 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 yeah. Okay, so we'll start down at Antonio. Say the yes. full sentence now. Are our oars oak? Good. And our alien? Are our oars oak? Beautiful. And I. Are our arcs oak? <laughs> okay, try it one more time. Are our oars oak? Oars, oars. Oars oak? Yeah. yeah, are our oars oak? Beautiful. Uh, Juan? Are our oars oak? Very nice. <laughs> Hazel? Are our oars oak? Good. And. Uh, Oh, we have a new person. Um, Semi, is is that your name, Semi? Yeah, yeah, is is that my name? Okay, can you say it so I know I'm saying it right? <laughs> okay. R O O. No, no, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I want to know your name. I want to make sure I'm saying it correctly. Please say your name so I know. Uh, Semi. Semi. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Sam. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. Now say the sentence. Uh, you may really? say the sentence. Can you see it on the uh, screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Our, 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 oak. Beautiful. Okay. Mar Mariana? Our, 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 oak. Very nice. And Paula? Our, 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 oak. Lovely. And Selma? Uh, our ours oak. Good. Okay. Let's go on to our next one. All right. So, what's that word? Around. Everybody? Around. 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 Yeah. Around. Okay. Hmm. Who would like to say this for me? This is a little tricky. The rabbit rocks. Okay. Very good. A lot of people will say rugged. But it's rugged in this case. Sometimes with an ed ending, it is, it would be rugged. But in this case, it's rugged. The rugged rocks. Rugged, rugged rocks. Rugged rocks. Okay. The next rugged. phrase. The rugged. The rugged. The rugged. The ragged, correct. Rugged. Rascal. Rascal. Rascal, yes. Rascal. Ran. And that one. Ran. 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 Okay. Ran. So, around. Around. Maybe we should Ran. do it one at a time again. It makes it easier. Selma, 
So, uh, let's let's put the whole thing up. Whoops, sorry. Click the wrong thing here. Let's put did it you, all did you up. What's the meaning of rugged? Oh, good question. Um, rugged means that they're very rough, um, jagged, those kinds of things. So the rocks are hard. They're big and and bulky. They're rugged. Okay. Okay. And does everybody know what a rascal is? No. 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 Uh, okay. A so rascal. Somebody, sorry. Somebody who is naughty. Yeah, somebody who's naughty. Somebody who does not bad things. Often children can be rascals. Yes. We'll call children yes. rascals because they get into trouble. And ragged. What do you think ragged means? Uh. Anybody? So it's somebody. it's when you're um, you wear rags, or um, you're not uh, uh, not neat and tidy. So if you have a, I'm sorry, pardon. Uh, so all things maybe. Yes, all clothes. Yeah, all clothes. yeah, old clothes, clothes. Yes, yeah. So the it would be maybe a a little boy who's uh, got ripped pants and ripped shirt. So he's ragged. So I'm going to get Selma to start by saying the whole sentence. Around the ragged rocks, the ragged dust, around. Okay, try again. Go slow and try to uh, pronounce every word. Around the ragged rocks, the ragged dust, around. Much better, that's good. Okay, Paula. Around the rugged rocks, the road, the rigid rascal run. Ragged. Say ragged. Ragged. Yes, yes ragged. Okay, try again. Around the rugged rocks, the ragged rascal run. Beautiful. Okay, good. Mariana? Around the rugged rocks, the rugged rascal run. Good. And uh, Sammy? Around the rugged rocks, the rugged rascal run. Beautiful. Okay. And who do we have here? Oh, Hazel. Around the rugged rocks, the ragged rascal ran. Okay. Say it one more time because I think rugged sounded like ragged. Try one more time. Around the rugged rocks, the ragged rascal ran. Much better. Good. Okay, Juan. Around the rugged rock, the rugged rock go wrong. Beautiful. Okay. Ayat? Around the rugged rocks, the rugged rock go wrong. Beautiful. And Aurelian? Around the rugged rocks, the rugged rock go wrong. Okay, good. Antonio? Around the rugged rocks, the rugged rock go wrong. Okay, you have a nice rolled R. In English, we don't tend to roll the raw R's, but it sounds lovely. I like it. <laughs> All right, our next one. Let's see what we have. Okay, so we'll just read them. Everybody can read along. Betty. Better. 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 <laughs> Bread. 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 Okay, Bread. so we have Betty, Better, Butter, Brad's, Bread. Whoops. Oh, there. Okay. <laughs> teacher, teacher, I have a question. Yes. Uh, in the United States, usually when there are uh, two T's, they pronounce like a T. But is this true in other English countries like in UK or Australia? They pronounce in the same way? Uh, for no. the double letters? I, I'm double not T. Double T. In the States, yeah. you're asking. like a D. Really? Oh, Better? Yeah. It's, um, it's because we're very lazy. 
when we uh, speak English. You'll see the same thing or hear the same thing happen whether you're in Canada, which I'm from. I'm from Canada. We say, well, Betty would, is, it sounds more like a D, doesn't it? Betty. Betty, yeah. better, butter. But really, it should be Betty, better, butter. But you won't hear that on the street. In the, in the States or in Canada, Australia, I'm not too sure about. That's a long way away from me. <laughs> but, okay, okay. yeah, the T often sounds like a D. And that's okay. Okay, thank you. All right. So, uh, we'll start down with Antonio. Can you read yes. the sentence? Yes. Betty, better, butter, brats, bread. Beautiful. Okay. And Aurelian? Betty, better, butter, brats, bread. Good. Ayat? Uh, Betty, better, butter, brats, bread. Good. <laughs> okay. Juan? Betty, better, butter, bread, bread. Sounds good. Okay, Hazel? Betty, better, butter, bread, bread. Good. <laughs> and Sammy? Betty, better, butter, bread, bread. Good. And Mariana? Be Betty, better, butter, bread, bread. Okay, good. Paula? Betty, bet, uh, sorry. That's okay. Betty, better, butter, bread, bread. Good. And Selma? They, uh, Are you there, Selma? Uh, yes, sorry. Okay. Uh, be, uh, Betty, be, uh, better, butter, bread, bread. Good. All right. Excellent. Go on to the next one. Okay. The boot black. Does anybody know what is meant by a boot black? No. no. <laughs> I had to look this one up myself. It's, uh, it's more um, British saying from a long, long time ago. Um, he would be a shoe shine person, somebody who shines somebody's boots. They used to put a, a blacking on the boot, um, probably some form of um, uh, soot, and that was called boot black. So a person who applied boot black was a boot black. Okay, so this is this one's going to be tricky. <laughs> okay, so the the boot black. What's that word? Brought. Brought. Yes. The black book. The black book. The yes. black book. Black book. Black book. Black book. Okay. So, what we've got is the boot black brought the black boot back. <laughs> okay. So, Selma, I'm going to start with you. Try this sentence. Okay. Uh, the boot black brought the black boot back. Oh, very well done. Okay, Paula? The boot black brought the black boot back. Oh, you guys are doing awesome. Mariana? The boot black brought the black boot back. Good job. And you're doing it quite fast, too. That's excellent. Uh, Semi? Uh, the boot black brought the black boot back. Good. Hazel? The boot black brought the black boot, boot back. The boot <laughs> Good black job. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> no, Good job. The boot black brought the black boot back. Good. Excellent. Juan? Juan, are you there? Juan! No, no one. No. Okay, Ayat. Uh, yes, uh, the book black brought the black boot back. Good. Okay, and Aurelian. The boot black brought the black boot back. Okay, when you're pronouncing the, try not to get the z into it. It's the. Try yeah. the. Yeah. The. the. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Good. 
The rest of it you did great. Antonio. Mm, the book black brought the book black brought the back the black book back. The black okay. book back. <laughs> so, All right, try it one more time, the whole thing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the the book black brought the black book boot back. Good. I, I, okay. I am reading the, the, the last Okay, so we'll go on to the next one. What have I got? Oh, yeah. Okay, so what do we have here? Say it, everybody. Big black bug. Big black bug. Okay. Bit. 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 Big black bug. A bear. Big black bear. Big black bear. Okay. Bear. So, bear. It sounds like a big black bug bit a big black bear. Okay. All right, so we'll start with you, Antonio. A big black bear bit a big black bear. Okay, good. And Aurelian? A big black bug bit a big, uh, a big black bear. <laughs> good. <laughs> I asked. A big black bug bit a big black bear. Good. Sounds good. Uh, Hazel. Hazel. Big black, a big black bug bit, uh, bit a big black bear. Okay, good. And oh, we have somebody new. Kubra. Kubra, are you there? Uh, I'm here, yes. Uh, okay. A big black bug uh, beat a big black ear. Okay, say bear. A bear. Yeah, a big black bug bit a big black bear. Good job. Uh, Senate? A big black bug beat a black... Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a big black bug beat a big black bear. Good. Okay. And Mariana? A big black bug with a big black bear. Bear. Very nice. <laughs> Not bear. Bear. Good. Paula? Yeah. A big black bug with a big black bear. Big Good. black bear. <laughs> Good job. Okay. <laughs> Selma? A big black bug with a big black bear. 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 Okay. And the next one. Oh, yeah. This is a short one. So say it. What do we have here? Chop chops. Chop chops. Chop chops. Yes. Stock chops. Stock chops. So we have chop chop, stock chops. Okay, so what do you think a chop shop might be? There's two meanings for a chop shop. One is um, a meat shop that sells things like pork chops. Chops are a cut of meat. Or um, in North America, a chop shop is a place where um, motorcycles, especially Harley Davidsons, get um, uh, modified into those crazy motorcycles that have the really tall handlebars. Do you know what I mean? That's called chopping the, bo the, the motorcycle. So anyway, uh, we're going to start with Antonio. So can you read this sentence, please? Uh, chop, chops, stock chops. Okay, good. Aurelian. Chop, ch chop, shops, stock chops. Okay, good. It's very out. <laughs> it is. It's a difficult one. That's why they're called tongue twisters. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are doing great at them. I was expecting to to have to go over them a lot more. Ayat. Chop chops. Stop chops. Good job. I hope you guys are writing all of these down so that you can practice them at home. <laughs> Hazel. Uh, chop shops. Stock. Uh, stock. 
Oh, I lost. Hello? You're, you're breaking up. You're in and out. Can you try one more time, please? Are you there? Hazel? Chop, chop, stock, chops. Thank you. You just, your um, connection died for a minute and I didn't hear you. Okay. Uh, Semi? Chop, chop, stock, chop. Good. And Mariana? Chop, chops, stock, chops. Good job. Paula? Chop, chop, stock, chops. Good. And, oh, here's somebody new. Giovanni, Andres? Yes. Which, which name do you go by? Uh, Giovanni. Giovanni? Yes. Okay. I'm from Colombia. From Colombia. Welcome. I guess somebody dropped out and you jumped in. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> yes. Can you, read, can you read this sentence for me? Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, chop, 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 stop, chop. Okay. One more time. What? Say it one more time for me, please. Uh, chop, chop, stop, chop, stop, chop. Okay, good. Thank you. And we'll do another one. Okay. So, what's this one say so far? We have Chris, Chris Crust. Chris Crust. Chris Crust. Crisp crust. Okay, crust. good. Crust. Crack. Crackle. 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 Crunch. 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 Crunchily. Crunchily, yes. Crunchily. <laughs> it's a nonsense thing, but it's kind of fun. So crisp crusts, I think of maybe on a pie, the crust on a pie, or a crust on the bread. Crackle is a sound that uh, that gets made when you have a piece of uh, plastic and you crunch it in your hand it makes a crackly noise and then of course crunchily is like when you're eating um, um, maybe an apple yeah an apple is a good example good so it sounds like crisp crusts crackle crunchily gives you a really good workout Antonio Crisp, crust, crusts, crunkle, crunchily. Okay. Try it one more time. Crisp, crusts, crunkle, crunchily. Okay, good. Aurelian? Aurelian, are you there? I guess he disappeared for a minute. Ayat? Crisp, crusts, crackle, crunchily. Good. Very good. Juan? Yeah, sorry, before I, I have connection issue. Okay. Uh, crisp, crust, uh, crackle, crunchily. Very good. Okay. Hazel? Crisp, crusts, crackle, crunchily. Very nice. Sammy? Crisp, crisp, crust, crackle, crunchily. Okay, try it one more time. See if you can get a little more speed. Okay. Crisp, crust, crackle, crunchily. Very nice. Good. Mariana? Crisp, crust, crackle, crunchily. Very good. Paula? Crisp, crust, crackle, crunchily. That works. Very good. Giovanni? Crisp, crust, crackle, crunchily. Good. Okay, we'll go on to our next one. And what do we have next? Oh, this is fun. Fred fed. Everybody say. Fred fed. Fred fed. Fred fed. Ted bread. Ted bread. Ted bread. And. Ted. Ted fed. Ted fed. Ted fed. Bread. 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 Okay, so we'll do all of that. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to do random. Mariana, try this one for me. Bread, fat, fat, bread, and fat, fat, bread, bread. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Uh, uh, 
Juan. Red, fed, dead, red, and dead, fed, red, red. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> That's why they're called tongue twisters. <laughs> yes. Do it again. Start it from the beginning. Okay. Fred, fed, dead, red, and dead, fed, red, red. Good. Okay. Excellent. Aurelian? No Aurelian again. Antonio? Fred fed, Ted bread, and Ted fed, Fred bread. Good. Hazel? Fred fed, Ted bread, and Ted fed, Fred bread. Good. Uh, Sammy? Fred fed, Ted bread, and Ted fed, Fred bread. <laughs> Good. Uh, did I miss anybody? Paula? Fred fed, Ted bread, and Ted fed, Fred bread. Good. And Giovanni? Fred. <coughs> Sorry. Fred, Fred, Fred. Okay. And Fred, Fred, Fred. Good. All right. Okay. Freshly fried. Freshly fried. Freshly fried. Flying fish. Flying fish. Flying fish. Freshly fried. Flesh. Freshly fried flesh. So it's freshly fried flying fish, freshly fried flesh. <laughs> okay, so Giovanni, let's try it. Fresh, fresh live, fresh fried fish, freshly fried flesh. Oh, would you like to try that again? <laughs> <laughs> Presley Fred flying fish, Presley Fred Fletch. Good, okay. Uh, Paula? Paula, are you there? Sorry, I was. <laughs> Hi. Yes. Can you do Presley this? Freshly fried flying fish, freshly fried flesh. Beautiful. Mariana? Freshly fried flying fish. Freshly fried flesh. Okay, good. Sammy? Freshly fried flying fish. Freshly fried flesh. Okay, good. Hazel? Freshly fried flying fish. Freshly fried flesh. Good. You guys are doing a great job. Oh, we have somebody new here. Giuseppe? Freshly fried fly fish, freshly fried flesh. Good. Excellent. Where are you from, Giuseppe? I'm Italian. It, oh, you're from Italy. Good. Juan? Uh, uh, freshly fried flying fish, freshly fried flesh. Good. And Aurelian? Freshly fried flying fish, freshly fried flesh. Good. And Antonio. Freshly fried flying fish. Freshly fried flesh. Beautiful. Good job. Okay. We surely shall see. Everybody say it. We surely shall see. Surely shall see. Surely shall see. Okay. The sun shine soon. Shine. 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 Soon. Whoops, okay, that's the whole thing. So, we surely shall see the sunshine soon. So we're doing the S's and the SH's together. Okay, so Mariana? We surely, we surely shall see and sunshine soon. Okay, good. Uh, Giovanni? We surely shall see the sunshine soon. Good. And Hazel? We surely shall see the sun shine soon. Good. And Juan? We surely shall see the sun shine soon. Good. And Antonio? We surely shall see the sun shine soon. Okay. And, and try that one more time. We Antonio? surely shall see. Me? Go ahead. Yeah, Antonio. We surely shall see the sun shine soon. Good, okay. 
Uh, Aurelian? We surely shall see the sun shine soon. Okay, the word um, is surely. Can you say surely? Surely. Yeah, the SU, strangely enough, is uh, pronounced like shall is. Sure. Surely. Sure. It's one of those crazy English words where it doesn't follow the rules. So the surely, not surely. surely. Yes. So like say the whole that. thing. Yeah, like sugar. So can you say it all again for me, please, Aurelian? Yes. We surely shall see the sun shine soon. Good. Okay. Uh, Giuseppe? We surely shall see the sun shine soon. Good. And who hasn't said it yet? Semi? Uh, we surely shall see the sun shine soon. Good. Uh, Paula, have you done this? No. Can you please? Yeah. Uh, we surely shall see the sun shine soon. Good. Has everybody said it now? Yeah, I yes. think so. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. We'll go on to the next one. Oh, yeah. Girl gargoyle. Does it what gargoyle is? Girl gargoyle. 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 The, does everybody know what a gargoyle is? No. No, no. people who it's live in... It, yeah, it's like a statue. Um, they are often on uh, very large cathedrals. You'll see them up in the tops, and they're kind of uh, grotesque animal-looking things. Like a devil? Oh, gargoyles. Yeah, okay. like a devil. Okay. They're a decoration. I don't know why they put them on churches, but um, when I was in Rome, I saw them in the cathedrals. So there's lots of So we have girl gargoyle and guy gargoyle. Now the thing with saying this, it's not very long, but you're supposed to say it more than once. So it's girl gargoyle, guy gargoyle, girl gargoyle. <laughs> Girl gargoyle. Very <laughs> difficult to do it more than once. <laughs> so I'm going to get um, people to try it. Uh, we'll start with uh, Giovanni. Go yeah, ahead. Kind of. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> That's all right. It's not easy. Girl gargoyle, guy gargoyle. Good. Girl gar gar. Uh, even I have trouble. Girl gargoyle, guy gargoyle. <laughs> Let's see, not very easy. Paula, give it a try. Um, uh, girl, gargoyle, guy, gargoyle. Lovely. You did it better than me. <laughs> Mariana. Girl, gargoyle, guy, gargoyle. Good. And uh, Sammy? Girl, gargoyle, guy, gargoyle. Good. Hazel? Girl, gargoyle, guy, gargoyle. Lovely. <laughs> Good job. Uh, Giuseppe. Girl, gargoyle, guy, gargoyle. Okay, good. Juan? Girl, gargoyle, guy, gargoyle, girl, gargoyle, guy, gargoyle. Oh, very good. <laughs> <laughs> You're brave. <laughs> yeah. Aurelian. <laughs> girl, gargoyle, gay, gargoyle. Okay, it's guy. Say guy. guy. Yeah. Girl gargoyle, guy gargoyle. Go ahead. Try Girl it again. Girl gargoyle, guy, guy gargoyle. <laughs> Girl gargoyle, guy gargoyle. Beautiful. Okay, good. Antonio. Girl gargoyle, guy gargoyle. Okay, that was well done. Hard one. Okay, so three gray geese. Three gray geese. Okay, good. In the green grass grazing. In the green grass grazing. Green grass grazing. Okay, so one at a time. Who wants to go first? What is a geese? I can't. Oh, what are geese? Um, it is um, a water a bird. 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 Yes. Um, larger than a duck with a long neck. Geese, ah. a goose? Usually, yes. To, to make pate. 
Sorry. The goose is to make pate. The goose is to singular. Goose is singular. And goose, goose is, is sing plural. yeah, that's right. Goose is singular. Geese is plural. It's and it's one. Is used to make to make pate. Pate. Oh, the liver. Yeah, foie gras. Yes. 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 Correct. That's right. Okay. So, and everybody understands what grazing is. Grazing is to eat grass. Horses graze, cows graze, and geese graze as well. They go into the fields and eat the grass. Okay, so three great geese in the green grass grazing. Who's going to try it? Mariana? Three great geese in the green grass grazing. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, Hazel? Three great geese in the green grass grazing. Beautiful. Very good. Aurelian? Three grease geese, geese in the green grass grazing. Okay. Antonio? Three gray geese in the green grass grazing. Okay. Uh, Juan? Three gray geese in the green grass grazing. Beautiful. Okay. Giuseppe? Three gray geese in the green grass grazing. Very well done. Uh, who haven't I done? Uh, Sammy? Yeah. Three gray geese in the green grass grazing. Good. And Paula? Three gray geese in the green grass grazing. Okay. And Giovanni? Three gray geese in the green grass grazing. Good. So the thing that makes this uh, this little saying hard is all of the uh, other words, like even three has the R, gray has an R, green, grass, grazing, but geese doesn't. So you have, you're used, to your um, um, mouth gets used to doing the R and then you get a word that doesn't have the R. So that's why you have to sort of stop for a minute before you say geese. But you guys did a good job. Okay, this is just one of those ones we're going to do more than once. It's three free throws, three free throws, three free throws, three free throws. Let's see how fast you can do it. Okay, three times. We're going to start with Antonio. Three free throws. Throw. Three times. I want to hear it three times. Free, free, fast. free, free yeah. throws. Good. Okay. Uh, Aurelian? Three free throws. Three times. I want to hear it three, three times. Three free throws. Three free throws. Three okay. free throws. <laughs> Good job. Good attempt. Um, Juan? The pronunciation is throws? Throws, yes. Okay. Throws means um, this is like when you are at the carnival and you get to throw a ball at a target. So okay. this is three free throws. Okay. Go ahead, three times. Fast. Three, <laughs> three free throws, three free throws, three free throws. Good job. That's excellent. Yay. <laughs> Giuseppe. Three free throws. Go ahead, three times. Sorry? Say three free throws three times. Three free throws, three free throws, three free throws. Okay, good. Uh, Hazel? Three free throws, three free throws, three free throws. Good. Very good. Uh, Sammy? Three free throws, three free throws, three free throws. Good. Mariana? Three free throws. Three free throws. Three free throws. <laughs> okay. When you're when you're saying three and throws, make sure you do the th sound and not a t sound, because sometimes, especially when you're trying to do something fast, that will creep in. So try it again and really concentrate on doing a th sound. Three. Okay. Okay. Three, 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 three
Three, three throws. Three, three throws. Good. And Giovanni. Three, three throws. Three, three throws. Three, three throws. Okay, good. Uh, what do we have next? Okay. Please pay promptly. Please pay promptly. Please pay promptly. promptly. Okay. So here we have a PL and a PA and a PR. So you have to keep changing where your tongue goes in your mouth to do an L or an R and A. Please pay promptly. Please pay promptly. For six plump plums. Six plums. Okay. Please play promptly for six plump plums. Please play promptly for six plump plums. Good. Okay, Giovanni. <clears throat> Please play promptly for six plump plump plums. Good. Paula. Yeah. Um, Please play promptly for six plump plums. Good. Mariana. Please pay promptly for six plump blocks. Okay, good. Uh, Sammy? Please pay promptly for six plump blocks. Good. And Hazel? Please pay promptly for six plump plums. <laughs> good. Okay. Giuseppe? Please pay promptly for six plump plums. Good. And Juan? Please play, you know, I mean, uh, please play promptly for six plump plums. Good. Uh, Aurelian? Please play promptly for six plump plums. Good. And Antonio? Please play promptly for six plump plums. Good. What's the meaning of plump and plump? Okay, good. Uh, plump is something fat. Or big and juicy, plump. A pillow can be plump. It's a, if it's a big, fluffy pillow, it can be plump. Okay? And okay. a plum um, is a fruit. So do people okay. know plums? Um, they become prunes if you dry them. Plums. All right? Uh, all right. Stu is a short form for the name Stuart. Stuart. Yes, so Stu. So if Stu chews mm. shoes. <laughs> if Stu shoes. 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 So it sounds like if Stu choose shoes, should Stu choose the shoes he choose? <laughs> now, do you notice that <laughs> the, word, <laughs> the word choose, to choose something, sounds exactly the same as choose to chew something, chewing gum or chewing food. Or, cho or shoes, for that matter. So choose and choose are exactly the same pronunciation, but very different words. Yeah. So who would like to try this? Who's going to volunteer to go first? Uh, I can't. Me. OK. <laughs> Say your name. Instead of me, I can't see who it is. Semi? Was it Semi yeah. who said that? OK. Go ahead. Uh, if two, two. Choose, 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 the choose he choose. Okay, good, good try. That sounded good. <laughs> All right, who else? Who else is going to try? If a stu choose shoes, should the stu choose the shoes he choose? <laughs> okay, good job. Thanks, Antonio. Thank you. Thank you. All right, who else? Come on, be brave. Mariana, come on. <laughs> Stu choose shoes. Should Stu choose the shoes he shoes? Okay, good. Who is that? Uh, was that Giuseppe? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. 
Mariana, you do it next. Okay. If so choose choose, should to choose the choose he choose. Okay, good, good, very good. I I can't believe you didn't volunteer. You did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> How about uh, Paula? Yeah. Uh, if you do choose shoes, should to choose the shoes he choose. <laughs> good job. <laughs> okay, we're going to go on to another one because we're we're uh, running uh, short of time. So we'll see what other ones we can come up with that'll be interesting. Okay, this is lesser leather. Lesser leather. Never weathered. Never weathered. Okay. So what it sounds like is lesser leather never weathered wetter weather. Lesser leather never weathered wetter weather. Right. Good. Anybody else? Can I try this one? Less weather, yes, never weather, weather, weather. Okay, just I think what we'll have to do is just say your name, and then say it, and everybody else will have to just listen and then say their name after, so I know who's talking. Antonio. Okay. Less Antonio. Weather, 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 weather. Good job. Anyone else? Mariana. Okay. Lesser leather, never weather, weather, weather. Good. Okay. Anybody else want to try this one? We'll go on to the next one. Okay. Lesser leather, never weather, weather, weather. Good job. Okay, we're going to go to another one here. Whoop! I forgot one. Better. <laughs> but that's good enough. It's more so complicated. Yeah, I wanted to get to one because. We'll do some of these, but I wanted to. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of crazy ones here. Uh, we won't do that one. All right, here's one I want to say to you because this one's very interesting for me. Um, there are different um, accents that English speakers have, and this is a very good way to hear the difference in accents. As a Canadian, if I were to say this, I would say, I had to laugh to see a calf go down the path and have a bath in a minute and a half. Actually, it should be there, yes. Okay, so that would be a Canadian saying it. But if a British person were saying it, they would say, I had to laugh to see a calf go down the path and have a bath in a minute and a half. Do you sounds hear the difference? Wonderful in British. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. in British oh, sounds yeah. beautiful. <laughs> yeah. It does. It sounds very nice, the British way. But if yes. you're an American and you're from, say, uh, New York or Boston, well, probably more New York, it sounds like this. I had to laugh to see a calf go down the path and have a bath in a minute and a half. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I don't <laughs> so know <not> that. <laughs> Nice, I seen British. Uh, no, that's not British. That one is American. <laughs> yes. So there are very different ways of saying those words laugh, calf, path, bath, and half. So if when you're listening to an English speaker, those are words that you can hear the the difference in their accents and even maybe pick out you can say, Are you British? or are you Canadian? or are you American? So I want to hear you people say it. How would you say um, these words? So I'm going to start with Antonio. Please read this little yes, poem. Yes, I, I had to I had to laugh to see a calf go down the path and have a bath in a minute and a half. Very nice. Good job, Aurelian. I had to laugh to see a calf go down the path and have a bath in a minute and a half. Good. Okay, Juan. I uh, had to laugh to see a calf go down the path <laughs> and have a bath in a minute and a half. Okay, I'm hearing lots of different accents now. It's great. Giuseppe? I had to laugh to see a calf go down the path and the bath in a minute and a half. Good job. Hazel? I had, a, I had to laugh to see a calf go down the path and have a bath in a minute and a half. That was said very British. Very nice. I 
at least I tried <laughs> to sound it, British. It was very good. You did a good job. Semi? Thank you. I had to laugh to, to see a cough go down the path and have a bath in a minute and a half. Good job. I'm sorry, I don't have time for the rest of you to read this because we're at 4 o'clock and I have to go. But thank you so much for joining me for this. I hope you had fun. I sure had some fun and you guys were awesome. Good what job. Thank, thank you. 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 Thank